and welcome back to You Reach On at 120. I'm Jeff Cliff, and this is a series of 120 videos of things that I learned as a student in computer science at the University of Virginia. If you haven't seen any of the other videos in this series yet, I'd strongly encourage you to go watch one or two of them, because we're starting to get near to the end of the course, and so we're, we're really starting to kind of build on some of the things we've learned. Uh, so before you, you know, watch too many of the other videos, watch, watch a couple of the earlier ones too. It's worth learning all of this stuff, not just you know, bits and pieces of it. So today, the, the, the topic is failure, and particularly failing classes. Because uh, as a high school student, I seem to remember, uh, you know, it wasn't really until the kind of end of high school that I, I'd even failed anything at all, ever. Um, and uh, it was, you know, even by that point, uh, it was more just due to slacking off than anything. But by the time I got to university, there were certain classes that I just didn't do well in. Some I did, some I didn't. Some I had to put a great deal of effort towards, and some I could just kind of coast off and get extremely high marks in. And, uh, but I, I started to notice that there were, there were limits on what you could do. You know, I, I worked one semester, I worked way too much, I took way too many classes, I overburdened myself by far, and I started to fail classes. And failing classes really sucks. Uh, but it happens, and uh, I've, I've seen some of the smartest people I know uh, have come across problems, as I've kind of discussed in other videos. And uh, the important part, I mean, if you can avoid it, obviously avoid it. Uh, but the important part is to pick yourself up and to go back, and to stand back at the temple again, or to you know take from what you've got and make the best decision of what to go forward and do from there. Because if you get filtered out, you get filtered out. Um, but the important part is to you know, keep moving, keep being concerned about what you can do, uh, and to you know, keep trying to, to accomplish what you have to accomplish with your life. I never got to go to law school. Uh, I, I, I think I would have liked to have participated, you know, gotten you know, to the bar or whatever, uh, but it just was not an option that ended up being presented to me because of the one, you know, couple failed classes that I had, I was filtered out. You know, if you must, focus on other things. Use you, the fact that you had some doors close on you because of your failures to help decide or help make the decisions that would otherwise have been much more difficult decisions of which path to pursue. Uh, don't be afraid to go back and reattempt. There are some classes I took, I think, even three times because there it was just one of those things where. Uh, if it was an important class to have, then it was worth trying again. It's more important to achieve something in life than to allow a bureaucracy to choose who you are. And that bureaucracy includes the academic one. So there are lots of people in history who, you know, for example, Isaac Newton, uh, when he learned, he had already learned much about abstract math before he went back and had to kind of learn the basics of geometry and Euclid's elements. You know, he was already way ahead of everyone else at his university but at the end of his kind of first year math. And yet he didn't do very well in first year math and nearly failed it. Uh, and yet, had he stopped in being engaged in math, physics, and natural philosophy at that time, we'd be all extremely poor for it. The Industrial Revolution would have been delayed, although Leibniz was kind of close on his tail. Um, you know, we, we would not have had uh, calculus you know, expressed in the language that he expressed in, certainly at that time. So, you know, be more willing to accomplish something with your life, make a difference in the world, and don't necessarily let your failures drag you behind. Use it as a focus, an aid that uh, helps you make decisions, but don't let yourself be defined by it. Sometimes, or some people have made the claim that you pretty much have to fail in life in order to accomplish something really big. And that a lot of the, the what makes you a great person is your ability to have gone through and learned from the failures that everyone ends up having happened to them. And the important part is to fail a whole bunch of time and then to wildly succeed, rather than to never fail at all. Um, you you can get to the point where you can view you know that this this thing that happens to you, and you can learn from it. Uh, and again, you you can help yourself develop going back to the R video, by seeing where you screwed up and making sure not to screw up there again. If you fail a class, 
There's nothing that feels better than going back and learning that class's content after the fact so that when you are called upon in your kind of the real life uh, to use that knowledge, that you just nail it when it happens to you, when it is presented to you. Uh, you know, if, if I were to have to go back and do that, um, uh, for example, math you know, 122, I even passed that class, I just didn't quite get high enough to take the next level of class. But, you know, that, that's an example of something where I use that knowledge in practice in my life. And it has come in handy because I went back after that class and made sure that I knew that stuff uh, to a much higher degree than the academic world gives me credit for, or at least at the time gives me credit for. But th again, the important thing is that don't let it drag you behind. Uh, treat it as a learning experience. Treat it as some a cost towards what your real life MBA is or your you know street MBA is. Uh, you, you can kind of envision this. You can either get an MBA or a master's degree by going through the academic world and you know getting an advisor, paying a whole bunch of money, and kind of going that route. Or you can just make a whole bunch of really big screw-ups and learn from every single one and pay for it in blood, sweat, tears, and shame and learn from your mistakes. Because if you can do that, and if you can learn from others' mistakes as you watch them screw up, you can often get uh, far further than you could if you had never taken any risks, if you had never made the mistakes in the first place. So, you know, don't be afraid of it. If it happens, let it happen. But uh, you know, try to avoid it when possible and uh, go from there. If you have any questions or would like to kind of discuss uh, failures in your life, feel free to leave them anywhere where this video is posted. Uh, as usual, there should be a Bitcoin donation address. Feel free to uh, you know, send, you know, admit defeat on whether or not Bitcoin works or not and uh, send it to me for that. Uh, and uh, hopefully we'll see you next video. See you then.